My name is Bart Everson. I am uh, president of Friends of Lafitte Corridor. I wanted to meet right here actually because you'll notice there's a little uh, triangular sculpture here. Wasn't here yesterday. Not 100% sure who put it up, but I've got my suspicions. But this is indicative, I think, of the excitement and the passion the community has for this project. And I was walking down this path with a friend one day, saw the workers pulling the rails up, and my friend said to me, you know, that would make a good rails to trails project. That got me thinking, and so I started doing some more research on it. And then we did a hike, me and my friend and one other guy hiked from one end to the other about three miles. And then I went to the, discovered the Rails to Trails Conservancy, Do downloaded some literature from their website and started reading about well, how you would uh, get a project like this going. And I started to uh, do more research and found out that this was actually something that the city had on the books for a while, but didn't seem to really be gaining any traction for some reason. But do I really want to take spend the time the and life. spend the rest of my life working on this? Do I want to <laughs> take the plunge? And then uh, <laughs> the big storm named Katrina blew into the Gulf, and all of a sudden we, you know, we evacuated the city. The levees failed, the city was flooded, and it was really the last thing on any of our minds for quite some time. But when I came back to the city in November, that we became aware a large parcel of this land that makes up this corridor was going up for sale for economic development. Turned out it was for a film studio project. That got a lot of us talking about, well, what does that mean for the future of this rail trail idea? And once we started talking, I started thinking, well, what was I doing a year ago? Well, that was when I, I was on that hike with my two friends. So I sent out an email to these people that I'd met. And I said, coming up next week is the second annual hike of the Lafitte Corridor. And lo and behold, 16 people showed up and we hiked from one end to the other and by the end of that day we had formed uh, Friends of Lafitte Corridor. At least we come up with the name. <laughs> a year later we did it again and we've continued to hike every year. The next year 60 people came on the hike and last year we had over 200 people on the hike. And yet here it is 2010 and of course we still don't actually have any asphalt. We've made a lot of progress behind the scenes. We've been working a lot on planning and building coalitions. We're an all-volunteer group so you know it takes some time. We've got some grants in the door and we've made some other progress uh, but here on the physical plane we don't have much to show for it except for this spectacular triangular <laughs> sculpture that I was telling you about. Well of course there is a lot uh, that goes into a project like this and I've only really kind of touched on the uh, the origins of the group and so forth but I'm going to pass the mic over to Daniel Samuels uh, who has been instrumental in bringing a lot of this forward Thank you, Bart. Well, somebody just told me that the average time it takes to develop uh, an urban trail like this is 9 to 11 years, so that, that helps put things in perspective for me a little bit. We're standing at the intersection of the Lafitte Corridor with Bayou St. John, which is a natural body of water that connects from uh, the heart of New Orleans to Lake Pontchartrain. We're also at the, um, the midpoint between two, two segments of the corridor that have very different history and a very different character. So. One of the first things that the Spanish did when this became a, a Spanish colonial city was um, a uh, navigation canal was dug between the back of the old city, or what's now called the French Quarter, and Bayou St. John. That was followed by a rail line that came in the 19th century. The canal terminated at the bayou, but the rail line kept going. So from here to Basin Street, this has a very wide, a very generous footprint, but from here to where the trail connects to Canal Boulevard. It's just a, uh, a narrow street right of way. Um, but we're also at a very important intersection with uh, the city's developing bikeway network. Um, you can see there's a path here. This path connects this way to the part of town called Uptown. This way it connects to a new trail that's called the Wisner Trail uh, that the Regional Planning Commission developed, which connects to the lakefront. So you have a river to lake and then an uptown to downtown connection that construction of this greenway will make possible. It's situated to tie not only into this network, into this history of the city, but to link six historic neighborhoods, probably over a dozen schools, churches, and communities in a safe route for off-street walking and cycling.